we go. Leaving the Harley Star. Heading up the Dragon. Here we go. City, all new setup that is just so amazing. Heading up to the dam and then beyond the dam up the dragon. 11 miles over 300 curves, each one with a name. today. I'm hoping things have quieted down some. Because uh, it can get legit crazy on the dragon. But we shall see. This is so awesome. Try and take some of this wind down off of my mic. Got some bouncies in the road. <laughs> yeah, well, for those of you who may not be familiar, whenever a biker passes and they show you two fingers, they're telling you to keep the two wheels down. <laughs> Rubber side down, metal side up. It's kind of a little biker blessing greeting. I like it. wanted to GoPro this ever since I got my GoPro. I love the Dragon. For me, Charlotte's pointing out the Foothills Parkway is coming up, and it is. Um, here off to the left is the entry point to the Foothills Parkway right there and that is gorgeous it's very restful goes through the smoky mountains absolutely stunning but uh yeah the dragon what it means to me um you know i wrote the book toxic to transformed and it was a it's a recovery devotional for people who have been through 
emotional and uh, verbal abuse. And um, it's not really my journey as much as it is, woohoo, glorious, yes, as much as it is uh, the recovery path that I took through the Word of God. The path to freedom from depression, freedom from anxiety, freedom from that post-traumatic stress that you get from being verbally and emotionally abused. And had I not escaped that abuse, I would not be doing this. I would not be riding a motorcycle. So when I was finally able to have the skill it takes to ride this, it was a monumental day for me. It's over 300 curves, many of them switchbacks, over 11 miles. And on a motorcycle, that's some pretty tough riding. So it really was a victory for me. It was a dragon that I slayed. You know, when you get beat down from verbal and emotional abuse, you don't have confidence. It steals your ability to believe in yourself. And to be able to ride this was just huge. You know, verbal and emotional abuse tells you you're not enough. Verbal and emotional abuse tells you you can't do anything. You're not capable. What God and His Word has taught me is that no, I am, I am more than enough because I have Jesus. I am capable of anything because I have His Holy Spirit. And writing has been the single most beautiful thing that the Lord has opened up for me. So when I ride this dragon, I remember the victory. I remember the triumph. I mean, not only is it just absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. But it's a challenge. And it's a challenge that I've been able to meet head on through Christ. And now I've got Charlotte, my riding buddy. <laughs> what a glorious thing that's been. Oh, isn't this beautiful? This is so beautiful. Well, so far so good. It seems a little calmer today. It was, it was really, well, here we go. This is it, boys and girls. This is it. <laughs> the dragon. We're headed on mile one, and I'm going to start gearing down here.